Okay, guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, I've got a question that say, what is weakness against strength when we do market analysis? So today's video, guys, the answer will be you'll get the answers on the weakness against strength. Why am I always saying there is weakness against strength on any peg? So, guys, uh, I'll be answering these questions also be doing the analysis for you guys so let's quickly so let's quickly jump to it okay uh the first pair we start with is is pound usd as you can see on pound usd i'll just do the analysis on pound usd let's go to h4 and then see you get the clear setup on h4 okay first of all guys what looking at this you can tell that this pair is creating like a a bearish continuation pattern Okay, that bearish continuation pattern is called bearish flag or bearish pennant. So we are looking at like a movement again. After this impulsive move going down, we are looking at the, the another move going, going down again, guys. Okay, before you can go, guys, I'm not going to be doing all these things, but you can go and check the pound, all pound pairs, all the pairs that pair, paired with pound. You'll see that it breaked the, the weekly support once it breaks the weekly support you know that it's going to stop on the nearest weekly support so it's going to continue going down the movement upward guys then if you see that it's going to go up it's retracing that support that it took on a weekly time frame okay so let's do this uh we are on usd on G gbp usd pound dollar okay we are on h1 okay so where can we get where can we get the the entry level on each one. You can either use like two things. You can use Fibonacci, you can use the order block. So how will I get the order block? I'll be looking at this level here. How will I use Fibonacci? I'll pull my FIBO from here to there. And then somewhere here is gonna give me like 61.8 of your FIBO. Let's do that by just pulling the FIBO. If I can just pull the FIBO, where is my Fibonacci? If I pull my Fibonacci from that high to this low here, as you can see, Okay, and then again, I'll just draw the order block based on that level there. Okay, All right. So once I'm done with that order block, what, I'm be, what I'll be doing now, I'll look at the entries, where I'll get the entries. So the level with there, which for me, I think is gonna still run up. This is the 61.8. You can either sell it here going down or wait for it to hit the order block and sell it going going down. So it's it's very, very easy because it's something that I always do. So that's why it's getting I'm getting bored every time when I have to do the analysis. So let's talk about the stop loss. You can either place your stop loss here or, or that level there, okay? So if I was you, I was gonna just say, okay, here, I'll wait with the pending order, which is a limit pending orders in the order, in the block, okay? With my stop loss, let's say about that level there, which if I drop the line there, it's going to be, okay, the first stop loss can be on 1.12766, okay? And for your take profit, guys, it's all the way down there. Even if you take your first profit there, you can see the risk and reward ratio. People will always say that you are risking too much. Yes, I'm risking too much. Yes, it's my money. I have to protect my money, okay? So if you look at from here to there, okay, and then you look at from here, if it trigger you in from there, this might be like one is to two, one is to two ratio. So don't be fooled, guys, by someone who say, okay, this is too much risk. Because if you are, if you if you go in here at 61.8, your stop loss is somewhere here. They might hunt and hit your stop loss before it turns down into the order block. You know that there is an order block there, but you still keep placing your stop loss next to that order block. That's why it keep taking out before it pushes price down. So guys, as you can see, GBP for me, guys, pound is gonna lose strength overall okay so let's prove that on another pair so we are doing weakness against strength let's prove that on another pair which pair can we go with let's just go with gbp nzd all right we are on gbp nzd as you can see on gbp nzd we are on h1 let's just go to h4 and see okay so guys it's simple it's one thing over and over again as you can see okay what i can explain on this one is the impulsive move and the retracement look at that retracement so on that retracement what did we get? We get like this replacement. Let's just see what we get. We get this level here, and then we look far left. We will get this level here. Okay, so roughly for me, guys, like this was supposed to be your sell entry. This was supposed to be your sell entry with your stop loss there, and then your take profit, even if you take there, even if you take all the way down there, it's not a problem. But 
you can just take it there. So if you go to H1, you still got the entry there, okay? You can still on H1, you can still like have your entry here, sell entry there, your stop loss there, you don't have to move your stop loss and then your take profit will be there. So it's the breakout and the retest over and over again. So your, your exit will be somewhere, somewhere there, guys, okay? So remember, every time when you place your stop loss, hide it about a certain high, okay? Don't just place it. So let's get another pair that paired with GPP and C. Let's say, let's say GPP, JPY, pound yen, sorry. We are on pound yen, as you can see, guys. We killed this, we killed this previously, as you can see, it hit our stake profit, but let me remove all that. Okay, we are, let's go to H4 and see if it's there. Okay, we are on H4, perfect. Okay, look at H4, guys. We have these levels here, which can be our order block. Okay, so it means this one is not ready yet. Okay, so we can just highlight that one too and this order block two here, and this order block here too. Okay, so for me, we're expecting price to rally into this level here, and then we sell it going down to that level there. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an impulsive move, correction as usual, and then boom, going down. So what do you have to do? Pending orders, sell limits, stop loss. As you can see, your stop loss can be hidden where? The stop loss can be hidden about this highs here in the in the middle. So somewhere here is going to be your stop loss. And then let's talk about the take profit. The take profit, your first take profit is this one here, level here. The risk and reward is one is to three, as you can see. So we are getting out, we are getting in there. Okay, we're getting in there, and then we are we're getting out there. So this is another pair. So which pair, which other pair can we go to? Let's go to all right, guys. This is pound AUD. What do you see on pound AUD? Let's go to H4 and see. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, up pound AUD, guys, as you can see, we've got this order block here. Guys, it's very easy because you know that, okay, price break that low. Let me just explain it like this. Price break, break this lows with an impulse. It has to go back and retest. So once it's going back and retest, so this is what you get. So you just have to, you know, now it's ready. This one is ready because our entry is supposed to be on that order block there with your stop loss about that high. You hide your stop loss about this high, and then your take profit. Your take your first take profit will be this one here. I prefer this one here because the ratio is at least with me is one is to two. So, guys, as you can understand, this it gives me that the pound is gonna be weak overall. Pound USD, pound CAD, pound NZD, pound Swiss franc, pound AUD all give us like the pound is gonna be is gonna be on a sell based on on on, on the analysis that we are doing, based on the highs are getting the highs and the lows are getting lower based on the the breakout and the then retest based on what based on weekly support they all taken out the weekly support so speaking of weakness against strength if we see that pound is gonna be weak we can also go to like any other pair that paired with pound to see if it's gonna be weak so let's quickly go to euro gbp this is euro gbp what do you see on euro gbp we are on h4 let's quickly jump to h1 and see what we get okay right back to h4 right. as you can see guys another thing that hap it's happening on that pair guys this is very very easy so so for me guys i'll just add let's just add a trend line there and then add an order block like let's say somewhere here okay so i'm anticipating this pair will spike down tripping the sellers and then boom. So as you can see, why am I saying that? It doesn't have to, some will say, okay, you are doing it, you're on a favor with a weak GBP, but with no reasons. Okay, this is my reasons, but the impulse and the correction, very simple, guys. I traced one, I trade one thing, impulse and this correction, and then I'm expecting it to go down. Another thing that you can add because we are smart, we know that you're smart, we can add that okay. Here is gonna be your A, okay. We got the B, okay, we got the C, and then this is the D. Okay, we are buying a D. So guys, as you can see, it's very easy, guys. You just have to do that. You just have to analyze with me, guys. You just have to stick around with me when I do this analysis for you to understand. Don't forget to share, guys, and subscribe and do whatever you're doing. Our entry will be there, of course. Stop loss below this loose. The first take profit there. Even though we know that it's not going to respect that level, so this will be our first take profit there. So guys, it's very, very easy, guys. Share with your friends, your family, your relative, whatever. My name is Bruce Lewis, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys make money. I'll see you guys on the next one.